Okay, so um, we're gonna do some mat work. This is technically a prop-free class. Um, I We're gonna work, uh, it's an ABBA class. Abs, buns, back, arms. <laughs> I thought that was cute. So anyway, um, but I'm gonna grab a squishy ball right here because sometimes I like to use that under my head. Um, yeah, if there's any props that you, that generally are just good for you to have close by, keep them close by. Um, but other than that, we don't need any actual props, okay? Except for a mat, a mat, maybe something like a um, to put under our heads, and then whatever's left of our sanity. Mm, that's optional too. All right. Let's come to the mat. So prop free potentially. I'm just gonna put that away for now. And we're gonna start on our bellies. Okay, so you can flip yourself over. Um, and get yourself in a comfortable position. I'm bringing my hands directly underneath my head. Um, so the first way we're gonna warm up the abs is through some nice deep breaths. Head down, try and relax your shoulders, and um, breathe into your belly so your waist expands, so your ribs open up, so your back fills out. Yeah, try to make this just the longest exhale you can find. With your exhale, all that has expanded then contracts and the neck lengthens, the legs lengthen. So try and find your expansion as you inhale. And your exhale brings lots of length. Um, give me two more of the deepest breaths you have. Try and relax those shoulders. And your last exhale here. With your exhale, gently start to draw the abdominals in, almost like you want to lift your belly button away from the ground. Okay, so that was our warm up, nice deep breath. Next, we're gonna bring the elbows underneath the shoulders ish, or maybe underneath your ribs. Just adjust until you find a place that feels nice. Um, I'm gonna spread the fingers apart, push down through the elbows and the whole forearm. And first, I'm going to relax. So I'm gonna let my ribs, my chest, my neck, my head kind of sink a little bit. Here's the inhale. With the exhale, push down through the elbows, the forearms, the, all the fingers, and start to lift the ribs and the belly away from the mat. We're gonna do this two more times. This should be a really nice deep breath here. Try and really relax as you come towards the floor. Inhale, and then exhale. Push down through the elbows, slide the shoulder blades away from your ears, lengthen through the neck. Really try and lift the belly away from the floor. One more time. Let's see how long we can get the neck as we come away from the floor. And we're gonna do this again. We're gonna keep kind of adding on to this. So inhale, come back towards the floor. Exhale, this time, push the floor away, you're coming up a little bit more. So this is like a plank. Lifting your belly. I'm not gonna tell you to tuck your low back, but don't arch. Really try and um, have those abdominals be the reason why you're lifted. Of course, the arms are doing tons of work. And inhale, release, come back down towards the floor. Exhale, push down. This time you're lifting and you're coming potentially up further, lifting the tops of your thighs away from the ground. Inhale, go back down in the same way that you lifted. Relax the head on all the parts. Exhale, we're gonna do this one more time. Exhale. 
So you can come up all the way to the knees. Here's your modified plank. If you want to come up into a full plank, you have my blessing. I'm going to stay here today. Lengthen, exhale, hold here. Give me one more deep breath in. And exhale. One more inhale. And then we're going to roll down all the way back down. Widen your elbows, widen your hands. Um, cactus arms, forehead down. <clears throat> okay, so the abs are warm, the shoulders are warm. Lengthen yourself out. Push down gently through your arms and just start to lift away from the ground. Continue to practice your shoulders, that good shoulder position. Lower down with the upper body and then press through the arms and lift. And do that a few times and just breathe. A lot of people forget when they come back down to the ground, they only come down with their chin. See if you can pull your chin in toward your throat and bring your forehead down. And then come all the way back up again. Let's just do one more of these. And now we're going to lower about halfway down. Eyes will stay on the mat. Arms lift and lower. Abs are in here left. Just intuitively, my legs kind of got a little longer here um, just to balance out this uh, work in the upper body. Continue to find that connection with your belly. Let's do three more here. Three. Two more. This next time we're going to lift and hold. Reach out long in front of you. Return. Lower down. One more like that. Left, reach, return, and come down. Sorry, one more for fun. Lift, reach, come back, and return. Head comes down for a moment. Maybe bring your face to one side and just relax. Inhale, exhale. One more like that. Inhale, exhale. Good, and then come back to looking down. Hands underneath your shoulders, and push yourself away from um, the floor. Just give yourself a quick back stretch here. Arms forward, head down, deep breath. And one more deep breath here. Okay, so now I'm gonna Flip over, and we'll come onto our backs. When you get down there, shin hug, because why not? Give yourself a nice little shin hug here. Inhale, exhale. Lengthen out the neck. And then we're going to bring the feet down. Um, and we'll just bring the feet down for a moment till we can find sort of a neutral-ish spine. Bring your hands to your hips and let's just move the pelvis a little bit. Come into a very gentle tuck and then a very gentle arch. A gentle tuck then a gentle arch. As you move your low back and your pelvis here, breathe. Try not to hold your breath. You don't need to do any extra work here. We're just moving... Um, moving parts around. See if there's anything along the way that feels tight or even a little bit, um, you know, fragile is maybe the word I'll use. Pain, if you're feeling any pain, of course, move, uh, change your range of motion. Let's do one more each way here, a gentle tuck and a gentle arch. And we're gonna take that gentle tuck and just hold it a little bit and then push down through the feet. Keep your little bit of a tuck here and just bring the pelvis up a teeny bit and then lower back down and then release the gentle tuck. So it's a little bit of a tuck, push through the feet, lift the um, low back. I still have my middle back down on the mat so it's kind of a small lift and then roll back down and relax. Let's try that three more times. Little bit of a tuck, push through the feet. You're just rolled through your low back to lift your pelvis. And then roll back down. Two more. Uh, 
Um, try to push through your feet as equally as you can. One more here. Lower back down. Now we're going to find neutral. Nice and neutral. Bring your arms down by your sides. We're not tucking when we move. We're going to keep the spine where it is and bring one leg up and then replace that leg down and the other leg up. Okay? So a lot of times when people talk and roll up, they feel all those connections. See if you can maybe close your eyes or do what you have to do to find that connectedness without talking. Just stay in this nice, nice neutral place. For me, um, the deeper muscles usually start to connect when I bring the exercise up a notch. So my feet are passing one another now. As I bring one up, the other one is already on its way down. Okay? So the slightly easier version is put the foot down, bring the opposite one up. So you have those two options there. And we're still breathing here. Just breathe however you want to. Neck is nice and long. Let's do two more sets here. And one more each way. And then keep the right leg up. Let's flex the foot. Bring your right hand behind your right thigh and bring your left hand behind your head. Gently push your right hand and your thigh into one another. So there's a little bit of um, tension there between. And then exhale, curl up, bringing the left elbow towards the knee and then coming back down. So you're really supporting the head to make the neck as long as you can. Exhale, bring the chin in towards the throat as you curl up. Inhale, lower down. Just three more here. Two more. One more. Come back to the center. Foot goes down, hands switch. Right hand behind the head, left hand behind the thigh. Find that little bit of tension there. Neck is nice and long. Take an inhale, exhale, curl up. Inhale down. Inhale down. Keeping the neck super long. One more here. And then come all the way down. I'm going to bring both legs up now. And I'm going to bring both hands right behind my head. Elbows come up just a little bit in my periphery vision. See if you can draw your ribs and your belly button in towards the floor. Exhale, curl up here. Inhale, come down. Keep going here for a second. Bring your knees over your ribs, okay? So the legs should be in pretty close for this one. As you curl up, long neck. And really try and practice that um, mobility that you have with your upper spine as you curl up. Round forward. Last two here. One more. Head comes all the way down. Arms are going to come out wide. Um, I kind of like palms down. Knees are still kind of up towards the belly button or the ribs. Knees are going to go slightly to the right. The left hip will lift a little bit. Back through the center and then knees over to the left. Okay, so some of your, your range of motion will be uh, maybe just about what mine is now. Not too far. And some of you maybe automatically want to go all the way to the right, back through the center, all the way to the left. Go for it. As long as it feels okay for you and you can stay connected in your breathing, um, this, this range of motion here is perfect for me. Add, as the knees go one way, your face, your eyes, your nose go the opposite direction. So this exercise becomes a small twist as well. One more each way here. And then return to center. 
Bring your hands behind both thighs, bend your knees, pull the legs in and just relax the bottom half um, of the legs. Elbows are gonna come out kind of wide here. Take an inhale, exhale, curl up. Hold here, bring the left hand with the right hand behind the right thigh. Extend the left leg out, kind of pull yourself up here. And hold here for just a second, relax the shoulders, curl the forehead a little closer towards that knee. Bring the left leg back in, switch both hands, so they're now behind the left leg, and extend the right leg all the way out. Relax those shoulders. We're going to just do this one more each way. Right leg in, right hand back, left hand joins it. Curl up. I'm really pulling myself up here, but the abs are doing tons of work. Left leg in, right hand joins it. Both legs come back in. Ooh, lower yourself down. Take a nice deep breath. So this would be a good place, those of you who have chronic stuff going on with your neck, your shoulders, give yourself a little love, perhaps grab a ball or even a pillow or something like that, okay? Next part, hands back behind. Let's do actually hands to the shins. Feet together, take a nice deep breath. Curl up. Bring both arms up towards the ceiling and both legs out. Circle only the arms around. Yeah, so that is the motion. I've reached my head lifting limit at this moment, so I'm gonna use my ball. One more time here. And then just hold, take a breath. One leg is gonna come up and the opposite leg will extend. Grab on wherever you can. Try not to grab right onto the knee joint. Either go to the calf or the thigh and then bring the opposite leg up, switch. Lower the first leg down. Bring that first leg up, switch. Lower the second leg down and come up and lower down. Up and lower down. You're still finding that super deep breath. Exhale, long, long neck, shoulders away from the ears. Let's do flexed feet for the next three. And three, and two, two, one more each way. and bend the knees, rest through the abdominals, take an inhale and exhale. Bring your arms by your sides. I'm gonna take this ball away. It helped me for that moment. Um, arms stay right by your side, relax the calves on the back of the thighs, feet together, knees together. Inhale, tap your toes, exhale, return. Okay, so this is where that little tuck comes back again. Little tuck on the way up. Teeny, like the smallest one you can find. Three more. One more. And then come all the way down. Just relax through the abdominals. Find your neutral spine again here. Okay, a lot of people end up really uh, not, like, kind of more in a flat back. So find your neutral spine. Walk your feet as wide as your mat. And bring your arms open a little bit as well. Lengthen up through the spine. Push through the feet, push through, through, through the arms. Bring your hips up a little bit. And then lower back down. So nice, easy hip lift. Let's just do five of those. Exhale to come up. Three more. Neck is long and easy here. Two more. And last one. And lower all the way down. 
Just relax through the back for a moment. Take a nice deep breath. Okay, walk your feet in so they're pretty close to one another. Leave a little bit of space, uh, but they're pretty close to one another. And then bring your feet in relatively close to your tush. Arms are going to come in nice and close again. I'm going to push down through the arms, push down through the whole foot, big toe, little toe, inside of the heel, outside of the heel. See if you can get that four point foot press down. And then lift your hips just a teeny bit. And we're going to add that little tuck back again, just a small little tuck so you feel the tush, wake up, and then lower down, just tap down and come right back up. Small little lift of the pelvis. What I want you to focus on is the back of the legs and the tush. Okay, we're going to do eight more of these little lifts. Eight and seven. Wake up the tush muscles here. And six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One more. And then lift and hold. Hold here. Transfer your weight into your right foot. Push down through the right foot. And then bring that left leg up. Replace the left foot down. Transfer the weight over into the left foot. And then reach the right leg up. Keep going here. Change anything you need to change here. Okay, maybe your arms need to widen. Okay, maybe you're not even fully lifting the leg up. Maybe you're just practicing transferring the weight today. That's okay too. Three more. Two more. One more each way. And then both feet replace down, lower the hips all the way down. Take a nice deep breath here. Inhale, exhale. We are going to um, come all the way on. Let's, let's flip over here. We're going to continue to do leg work, but I want to come to a hands and knees position. Uh, we just woke up the tush a little bit. We're definitely going to use it a bit more. Let's start with the knees and the feet together here. And try and find your long spine. Hands underneath the shoulders. Let's curl the toes forward. And we're just going to keep the right leg there and stretch the left leg out. So right away, just uh, make sure that your left hip isn't sinking down. But you're keeping that left hip pretty much right in line with the left, with the right, sorry. And then we're just going to lift that left leg up and reach the heel all the way to the wall behind us and then tap right back down. And tap right back down. So as I lift my leg, um, I'm definitely feeling that left glute fire, um, especially because I'm lifting and reaching the leg to the wall behind me. I'm just gonna do six more like this. Six. And five. And four. Three. Two. This time we're going to lift and hold. Lift and hold. Point the foot. Kind of like a windshield wiper. The leg is going to go over to the right, back up, over to the left, back up, over to the right, over to the left. In and out. Four more here. Four. And three. Two. One more. Come back to the center. Lift and hold. Little circle. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And we gotta go the other way. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Ooh! Oh my gosh. Quick stretch there. I don't know. That was really, that was exciting. Come back. Come back. Bring that left knee down for a moment. Left leg is going to come out to the side. 
and then extend back. Out to the side, extend back. Four more sets here. Four, four, three, three, two, two, one, and one. Come all the way down. Let's give the wrists a quick little breath, and then we'll come back and do the other side, okay? So now the right leg extends, toes are down. Make sure that right hip is kind of lifted so the hip isn't sinking down below the left. And we're just coming up, reaching the heel towards the wall behind you, really lengthening through your spine when you do this. Lower down, tap, and then left. And left, eight more, eight. Seven. Six. Five. Long leg. Four. Three. Two. One more. And then we go in and out. In. Out like a windshield wiper. And out. Six more. Six. Yes, the hips are still. Hips are nice and still. Five. And four, three, two, one more each way. Come back to the center, lift and hold, point the foot, little circle, eight, seven, hips are still, six, woo, five, four, three, two, we absolutely have to go the other way, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh my gosh, quick stretch there. Leaning over to take a breath. Inhale, exhale, and return. Okay, so we're doing out to the side and extend. And come in, out and reach, and four, four, three, three, two, two, one, and one, Ooh, quick stretch, sit back, relax the head, take an inhale, exhale, And let's come up and just give those wrists a little bit of love. Inhale, exhale. Okay. Come up onto your knees for a moment. Knees, <clears throat> for me, they're about as wide as or slightly wider than my hips. And then the feet come together. Bring your hands towards your hip bones, right on top of your hip bones here. Um, think a little bit of a tuck here. And like tuck is probably not the word I should be using. Instead, think tail down, belly in and up, okay? That makes me feel a stretch here and it engages the tush, all right? So try that, arms forward. So here's some more work for the tush in the back to the legs. Belly button is in. We're keeping our straight line and we're leaning back, two, three, and coming forward. And again, back, two, three, two more. Back, two, three, one more time. Back, two, three, and then bring the arms all the way down. Let's have a seat for a moment on the tush. It would be nice to stretch a little bit through the backs of the legs. So we're gonna do um, spine stretch forward here. Um, if sitting up straight is a challenge for you for any reason, put something underneath your tush, like a couple of pillows, uh, maybe a couple of yoga blocks, something like that, okay? Feet are as wide as your mat. Arms are forward. Let's flex the feet. Fingertips forward, shoulders down. Sit tall with your inhale. And then exhale, chin towards the throat. 
Stretch through the heels and the fingers. Inhale, sit back up again. Relax your shoulders and exhale again forward. Your challenge for this next bit is to make this the longest breath you can find. Inhale to sit up tall. The whole exhale is your stretch forward. Inhale and then exhale. Inhale, come back up. And bring the arms down behind you. Good. So we're going to bend the knees. Um, I think fingertips out east and west is probably a nice idea. Some people do all sorts of things. So I'm just going to keep my hands out like this. You face your fingertips in whatever direction you want. Feet not too far from the tush, but not too close. Let's do eyes forward. Push the ground away. Push through your feet and lift the hips and lower back down. So um, play around with how narrow or wide your feet are here. And again, this certainly isn't a tuck. Think sits bones, lengthen forward, belly in. Five more. But this is another tushy exercise here too as well. And four. Three. Two. Last one. Ooh, all the way down. Okay, I'm gonna flip back over. We're coming onto our bellies one more time. Um, and again, we're gonna start with the hands underneath the forehead. Mm, wiggle around until it just feels like you're comfortable down in your belly. Before we move, three deep breaths. Um, emphasis on that exhale again. See if you can really find the exhale that helps the neck and the spine to feel long and the abdominals to really turn on. Okay, good. Finish out that exhale here. And then when you're done with that last breath, the arms are going to come back out um, into that kind of cactus position. And we're going to start to kind of think about lifting one arm at a time. And when you do, you can turn and look at that arm that's about to lift. So I'm going to keep the shape, look at my left arm, gently press the right one or let the right one be heavy as I lift through the left side. And then I'm going to come through the center and do the same over to the right. So it's a little bit of a twist lift here. Um, and yeah, I'm not pushing my opposite arm down. I'm actually just completely not really using it at all. It's almost like I want to keep it down but lift it a teeny bit. It's almost like I'm making it heavier. Um, it's kind of hard to explain that. I'm not pushing it down. Yeah, the twist helps me to put a little bit of heaviness into that arm. You're breathing, by the way. Please don't hold your breath during this. Let's do two more sets. One more each way. Good, come back to the center. Rest your head on your uh, hands. One leg at a time is going to lengthen and lift. Lengthen and lift. Lengthen and lift. Lengthen and lift. Let this move a little bit. Long legs. Five and five. Four and four. Three and 
one, three, two, and two, one more each way. And then put the arms down. From here, arms will come back, palms down. Head, chest, arms will lift, not too high. Reach long through the crown of the head and back through the fingers. And then as you lengthen out, if it feels like a nice add-on, you can lift the legs and then lower them down. And again, lift the legs and lower them down. Three more. Three. Two more. Lift. One more time. And lift. And then everything comes back. You can bring your hands underneath your head one more time. Give yourself one more deep breath here. Inhale into your belly and your waist. Exhale, come all the way down. Okay, hands underneath the shoulders here. Push yourself back up into that um, hands and knees position one more time. Knees together, feet together, okay? My feet kind of feel like they want to cramp a little bit today. I keep curling my toes forward. So you can either do toes forward or back, whatever feels better for your feet. Um, let's keep the hands right underneath the shoulders here, but let's widen the hands a teeny bit. So they're maybe slightly wider than the elbows. And we're going to keep this modified position as we do our first set of push-ups here. So wide elbows, neutral spine, Lower your forehead towards the mat, and then push away. We're just going to do six of these. Six. Five. Six. Four. Three. Two. One more. Hold here. Just give you a different angle. Hold there, bring your hands in slightly so you're back to your hands under shoulders position. Push down through the right hand as you bring the left arm out to the side, lengthen through your spine. And then return, and then bring the other arm out. As you bring one arm out, think plug in both shoulders, or keep them away from your ears. Lift your ribs and your belly button, and then down. Deep breaths here, two more. Aim your elbows for the wall behind you, both of them. And then one more, even yourself out. And then come back. Hands a little bit wider than that. And another set of modified wide elbow push-ups. Six. Five, come all the way up. Four. Three, two, last one. Good. Just for a moment, let's give the wrists and the hands a break. We do have more work to do down there, so, you know, loosen it up. And then return. Come back here so you can see. Hands are a little bit more narrow, okay? Um, spread the fingers apart. Press down through the right arm. Bring your left arm right by your side. <clears throat> Again, plug both shoulders in. Extend this left arm. Bend. Imagine the air around your left arm is five times as thick. Belly is in. Long spine. Three more. Two more. Keep your right elbow soft, please. One more. Hold here. Arm, left arm is straight. Little pulse up. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Ooh. Just take a break for a second. <laughs> um, it's funny how not using any weights can be just as intense as using the weights, right? Okay, we've got to do that other arm. Just to give you another visual here. Hands under shoulders. Right arm now comes right by your side. Um, palm is down. This side is weirder for me. 
palm is down, plug your shoulders in, keep your left elbow soft. Bend. Two. Three. Four. Extend and hold, little pulse up. Two. Three. Four. Five. And six. Come all the way down. Hands wider than the shoulders. One more set of six um, modified push-ups here. Come all the way up at the top. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One more. Let's take a break for the wrist. Just give the wrist a little bit of a twirl. Inhale, exhale. Okay, one more time, come back here. Um, this time hands are just in line with your shoulders. So bring them right under the shoulders, spread the fingers apart, push down through both palms. We're gonna put the last few of these kind of together a little bit. The left leg is gonna stretch out so the toes are down. And the right arm is gonna stretch out this time with the palm up, palm up this time. Left elbow looks back, soften your left arm. Bend your right arm. As you extend it, point the left foot, let the left toes leave the ground. Replace the left toes as you bend your right arm. Extend the left foot as you extend your right arm. Your spine is long. Five. Four. Belly is in. Three. Two. Woo. One more. Hold here. For five. Four. Three. Two. All the way down. That's kind of a lot. Inhale, exhale. I'll do this, just in case this side view helps. Right hand down, right leg out with the toes down, left arm out with the palm down. Extend the arm, extend the leg. Bend, as you extend, point that right foot, leave the ground. As you bend, the right toes return. Lengthen out. Five. Four. Three. Two. One more. Lift and hold. Aim your right elbow back. Shoulders are away from the ears. Hold. Five. Four. Three. Two. Ooh. Come all the way down. I don't know. Child's pose sounds nice. Arms forward. Head down. Deep breath. Okay. Don't get mad. Last set of six modified push-ups. Don't get mad. Fingertips forward. Six more. Six. All the way up. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Woo. All right. Let's come back onto the back. Let's come back onto the back. Let's grab a quick little stretch here. For a moment, hug your shins. Inhale, exhale. Lengthen out through the neck. I'm going to bring my right leg in front of my left thigh, my right sort of ankle in front of my left thigh, and then I'm going to interlace my hands behind my left leg. Okay. 
and you're just going to hold here and breathe for a sec. Um, some of you, I feel like this position is a little bit too intense. You're welcome to keep the left leg down and to maybe hold on to this left leg in a way that stretches the outside of the hip in a different way. You can kind of explore that if this position just doesn't work for you. One more breath. And then we're gonna switch the legs. So right leg down, left leg in front of the right thigh. One side probably feels different from the other. So make changes if you need to. One more deep breath here. And then let's bring the feet down. Get yourself centered again, okay? Um, feet and knees are gonna come over to the left. And then you can reach the right arm out to the right side. Bring your left hand to your left knee and um, experiment a little bit with what's happening through your right arm here. Even just flipping the palm and looking up is a nice deeper stretch for people. Um, bending and coming into a cactus shape with the right arm. I like that one because then it becomes a really nice chest stretch here. Or even extending all the way out towards the, on an angle towards the back of the wall behind you. Try all those three, see which one is the most exciting and the more you bring this left knee over towards the left the deeper the hip stretch will be two more exhales here and then we're going to come through the center you can bring your arms down and then knees and feet over to the right, right hand to the left knee, reach the left arm out and experiment with either just reaching out with the palm up or a bent elbow position or fully extending the arm out. One more deep breath here. And then roll back to the side and bring yourself carefully up to sit. Okay, let's come up to stand. Let's come on up to stand. Okay. Um, feet a little bit wider than your hips. I think I'll do this. Feet a little bit wider than the hips. Toes directed forward. Okay. Um, spread the toes apart. Push down through the toes. Push down through the four points of the feet. Big toe, little toe, inside of the heel, outside of the heel. That one's like a little harder to get into, but just picture your whole foot pressing down. Shift your weight slightly forward. See if you can lift your heels just a little bit and then lower them right down where they just were. And then shift back and lift the toes. And then forward and left. And then shift back and lift the toes. So the feet are just wider than the hips. Slowly take your time here and see if you can work um, really feeling those connections lifting the heels and then lifting the toes as you push the heels down. Let's just do three more here. Lift and lift. Two more. Lift 
and lift, one more each way. And lift, and then come down, shift into your right leg, maybe hands to hips. Left leg is going to come up, hold here for just a second. Let's just put that big toe down for a moment. Push down through your right foot, big toe, little toe, heel. Left leg is nice and long. Lift, let's flex the foot, and then point, go down. Flex, and point, go down. Flex, and point, go down. Three more. Three. You're really pushing down with both, pushing with both feet. This one's kind of reaching out into the air. Two more. One more time. And then come back down, hold here. Find that connection, bring your hands behind your head. Pull your head back into your hands, elbows forward just a little bit. Um, let's reach one elbow down as the other reaches up. Try and keep yourself centered. And then come back through the center, head back. Reach one elbow down as the other one reaches up. Keep yourself fairly centered. And so what I mean by that is we're not, we're not um, crunching over to the right, kind of. Instead, I'm imagining that um, this is more happening through the elbows and the shoulders. Um, and then come back to the center, other side. And then come back. Hold here for a moment. Shift your weight back into the leg we were just in. Push down through the right foot. As that left leg comes up, we'll add that super fun movement. Belly button is in. Four more. And three. And two. One more time. Ooh, and then come back. Bring the arms down, maybe move the head around a little bit. Let's do the other side. Hands to hips, feet a little bit wide, a little bit wide. Push down through the feet again. Big toe, little toe, both sides of the heel. Come into your standing leg, this time the left leg. Opposite leg is going to come up, a little bit of a flex, and then go back down. And go back. And go back down, four more. Belly button is in here. And three. Stand tall, shoulders down. And two, one more time here. Return, come back, hands behind your head. Reach up, keep your head back into your hands. Reach up as the other elbow goes down. Other side. Side to side. One more. Let's come back to the center. Pull your head back into your hands. Shift your weight back into the standing leg. Draw those abdominals in. We're adding the twist in as you lift the leg. And come back down. Four more. Shoulder blades down. Especially the right one. That's it. Two more. One more time. Come all the way back. Bring the arms down. I'm gonna scooch back towards the back of my mat and just stand right on the, the edge there. Feet about hip distant. Inhale, arms come up. And exhale, arms come forward. Chin to the throat, slowly roll down. Soften your knees. Deep old stretch here. Try and relax through the upper body. Take a nice deep breath. One more deep breath here. Head is super heavy. Move your head around a little bit. Like look, move your nose right and left. And then soften your knees. 
Find your four points of connection into the floor, the big toe, little toe, inside of the heel, outside of the heel, and slowly roll up. All the way up to stand. Come all the way up. We're just gonna do this one more time, a little different. Stand tall, inhale, arms up. And then come forward again. Chin to the throat. Roll through the spine. Soften your knees. All the way down. Try and heavy, heavy head here. Hands to your elbows. Shift into the left foot and into the right foot. And the left foot and the right foot. Come back to the center. Hands release. Walk your hands over to your right foot. Over to the left. Come back to the center. Relax the head, soften the knees a whole bunch, and then push through the feet, four points of connection as you roll it back up. Come all the way up to stand, push through the feet, lift the chest, relax your shoulders, and give yourself a belly breath. We did it. Mwah. May the force be with you. <laughs> Always and forever.